Good evening and welcome to Complin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let's hold a moment's silence while we think back on the day that's passed. Things that went right, things that went wrong. And let's also think of the day to come, committing that to God, because we cannot control it. Let's pause. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Let's join in confession, saying, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I'm going to read to you from Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift up your, lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and serpent. Because he loves me, said the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Have you ever thought of God being like a duck? Well, look at this picture. The psalm says that we dwell under God's wings that he protects us just like this duck is doing. We live in God's shelter but we are living in a time of pestilence and plague. Ten thousand have fallen and many more. So is God's promise null and void? Is he powerless to help us? Of course not. He does listen to our prayers Although he does expect us to be sensible, he may say you can tread on lions, but he wasn't advising us to do so. We expected to be sensible and not reckless. Don't try to pat any lions, you see. But God does protect us. We are sheltered under his wings. In this time of trouble, then we must remember that God is there to look after us. He knows each one of us, and his wings are over us to shelter us and protect us. He has promised, it says, God has promised to satisfy those who live him with long life, with him. 
And, of course, that doesn't always happen on this earth. It doesn't happen to lots of very good people. But we have that promise of his, that we will live with him forever. That those he cares, he will care for through troubles. The psalm says there will be troubles. God will care for us through the troubles as well as the good times and lead us to glory with him. Amen. Now we're going to pray. Lord, we thank you for the day that has passed. We thank you for all the good things, for the people we met, and we bring to you all the bad things, the troubles through which you have taken us. Lord, we leave them in your care. May we forget those things we should and remember those good things that you have given us so we can rejoice. Amen. Lord, as we look at our world around us, we live in a world of pestilence and not just COVID, but so many diseases, so many people helpless, so many starving. Lord, we pray for all those who are trying to alleviate the needs of those who are hungry, those who live in terror, not for arrows now, but bombs. Lord, we pray for those who try to heal and for those who are seeking cures of diseases. Lord, strengthen their hands that they may succeed and bring your love and kindness to others. And let's pray for the church throughout the world. Lord, we are grateful that we are not alone, but right throughout this world, your church is working to bring your love to people. Lord, we pray that we may be encouraged, especially, Lord, we ask for those who are alone in their houses but listening to this or to other services that they may be conscious they're part of a glorious worldwide church that started long ago and will continue and be united in heaven amen and a colic for today Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving to us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask but through the merits and mediations of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And let's join in the Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a blessing from the book of Hebrews. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip us with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Rest in peace and have a quiet night. Amen.